Hey there, it's a dad who games, and this is my first generation Sideswipe Transformer. Of all of the Autobots, he has always been my absolute favorite. I mean, it's a Lamborghini Countach. Look at it. I might knock the robot forms of these toys, but you can't deny the awesome detail that went into the vehicle forms of these classics. And when I said he was my favorite, I mean I played the hell out of him. Well, I've recently discovered my childhood, and having garnered some artistic skills since racing Sideswipe around my room, and also my wife's introduction to UV resin, I decided to restore him to his former glory. But that's when I got the thinking. What's the deal with the decals? Nowhere in any episode of Transformers did Sideswipe ever have any of the designs depicted on the decals. Well, to make a long story short, before there were the Transformers, there was Diaclone, a Japanese toy line of vehicles that transformed into robots. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Well, as it would turn out, Diaclone became Transformers upon being released in the United States with the cartoon to accompany it. For whatever reason, the cartoon presented original Transformers characters based on the Diaclone toys. But the toys were merely recolored Diaclone robots, changed to look more like the cartoon counterparts. That being said, I decided not to simply restore it, but to reimagine it as what I would have wanted him to look like as a kid. In this video, I'm going to turn this well-worn toy into the classic cartoon hero. Immediately, upon beginning the dismantling of Mr. Swipe, I was surprised that the toy was primarily plastic. I had remembered the toys as being all metal, but only the base of the robot or the butt of the car is metal. There's some Mandela effect for you. Now, I went into this really having no idea how it would turn out. While I've never done this before, I have always enjoyed building models, crafting, and painting, and, well, I felt confident in the task at hand. I meant to use the paint tray as a means of remembering which screws went where, but I kind of overlooked how the toy was assembled. But I figured I'd cross the reassembly step when the time came. I mean, I knew I had all the screws at least. Anyway, to achieve my end goal, I needed to dismantle the toy in order to repaint it. It'd be impossible to paint the toy otherwise. Could you imagine the paint getting into all the joints? Yeah, no. So I'm not going to pretend to be a professional. I am a complete amateur, and I am sure that there are probably better ways of doing some of the steps I take here. So please, leave a comment with your suggestions and tips because I've got a big box of classic Transformers that need an updo. While you're at it, you might also like the video and subscribe. While I had to take a brief break, I will be uploading and going live regularly again from here on out. Plus, while making YouTube content began as a hobby, I'd like to see how far I can get in being more than just a casual hobbyist and be able to produce more content more frequently. This all starts with you. You can also follow me on Twitter at a dad who games. In either case, I hope you're enjoying my video. Okay. Now, I mentioned that this was a Lamborghini Countach, and that, my friends, is because it's got to be one of the most iconic of cars from my childhood, up there with Porsche 911s and Ferrari Testarossas. But the Countach was my pick for my dream car, and like many other kids at the time, I had several posters of the car in my room. I know I had a calendar at some point. <laughs> I also remember telling my mom about a poster my friend's dad had in the garage with a naked woman splayed out on the hood. And, well, she never let me go there again. Needless to say, Sideswipe called my name with the classic luxury sports car. In fact, I specifically remember that this had been my very first Transformer. Not to be treated unfairly, my brother had gotten wheeljack, but I have them all now. He grew up. In either case, I, like so many others, had eagerly awaited the release of the Michael Bay Transformers movie. And, meh, I don't know. Given how the Bumblebee movie implemented a great combination of modern and classic CG, there was no excuse for the Michael Bay bots. And, of course, we can't overlook the legalities of not allowing more than one car company to be featured. A Camaro Bumblebee? A Pontiac Jazz? And, well, I'm sure it's also the reason why Prime was a Peterbilt over a Freightliner. But, in all honesty, I only decided to watch Revenge of the Fallen in recent history because I learned that Sideswipe was in it. He looked, he looked insanely cool. 
even if not at all a sideswipe Countach. He was insanely cool too, rolling around and making roller skating look cool as well. I honestly ended up liking the series, even after Shia LaBeouf, Shiloh LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf, I, you know, honestly, I have never known how to effectively say his name. But even after he was canceled, I thought he made the movies work. No offense, Mr. Wahlberg, you made them your own kind of awesome. Either way, I started getting iffy when robots got curves in hair. It was bad enough with creepy Q, but the cape of crosshairs and the behemoth bearded hound? Granted, his chewing up his cigar bullet and spitting it back was pretty priceless. Eh, they were movies. Was I entertained by them? Of course. Do I look like Agent Simmons? Yes. Am I stoked for Rise of the Beasts? You bet your Formula One, I mean Porsche, Mirage. So this UV resin, unbelievable. I mean, I know I'm super late to the party, but I had no idea how easy and powerful it was. In seconds, I had fixed years of being damaged. I'm excited to apply my new knowledge to my next project, Blue Streak. If you are also only just learning about UV resin, here's the quick layman's description. It's this rubber cement-esque liquid that, when it's exposed to UV light, hardens to nearly unbreakable strength. Well, at least depending on the thickness of what you're making. But it dries fast, so when you use a UV lamp, the resin becomes solid in 30 seconds. It's insane. My wife warned me not to have any on my hands when using the light. It's apparently painful to dry UV resin on your skin. But here it is. The new and improved Sideswipe. No, I don't have any video of my painting as it was a long drawn out learning experience. But you can be sure that I will include all the detailing I will be doing for Blue Streak in the next video. So the first thing you'll notice is that I painted the windows. In the cartoon, all of their windows are light blue. And so that's how I did it. Also, it helps to conceal the fact that there's a robot on the inside. You can't mess with the immersion. If the paint of my original toy hadn't been so scuffed, I would have only removed the decals because the car itself already looks so cool. I essentially just removed all the decals, repaired the doors and windshield, and gave it a fresh coat of paint. Really simple. The biggest challenge, as others before me have warned, is when movable parts are painted. The result from my fledging attempt here is really tight movement. But I mean, I'm not planning to do anything else with this toy other than to display it with the others. I also painted all of the weapons light gray, but man, the paint. I got a bottle and spray can of the identical brand and color. I spray painted the light gray parts. I wanted and loved the almost white grayness to it all. But the bottle paint is like two shades darker. However, I honestly like how the gray turned out on his arms. But man, look at him. He's cool again, and more like what I wanted as a kid. This was such an amazing experience rekindling my childhood whilst redefining how it looked. Who is your favorite Transformer? Leave me a comment telling me about it. And thank you for watching my video. If you've made it this far, then doubly thank you. Judging by my channel analytics, not many make it this far into my videos. Leave a comment if you did, and then share it with a friend. All kidding aside, this has been an incredibly fun project, and I'm so happy that you enjoy it. Please stay healthy, and until the next, have a day.